Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander, and it comes in that typical style packaging that we expect from the Classified Series, and it does have some amazing artwork of Cobra Commander on the side. On the left side of the box, we get that awesome picture of Cobra Commander clenching his fist. And what's cool is you got the Night Ravens up top. They're just flying up, which almost looks like they're spaceships more so than planes. And then down at the bottom, you got some explosions and a hiss tank. So I like how they're integrating the vehicles into the backgrounds of this artwork. And the artists that they're using for these packages, they're, they're on point. Right side of the package, showing off Cobra Commander's file card. If you want to know what he's good at, go ahead and go to the website and check it out yourself. But those are all the symbols you need to look at and compare and contrast. And he is number six. Here we got the back of the box, same artwork we've been seeing, looks amazing, just waiting on those alley vipers, hopefully we'll get them soon. Cobra Commander comes with two different hands, he comes with a right hand where he's pointing, and a left fist hand, and they look pretty good. I don't know why we couldn't have got a pair of these, one for each hand, um, it's still cool, they're sculpted like he has gloves on, and they're sculpted really well. Cobra Commander comes with a snake themed flintlock. Looking awesome. You can see the snake on the side that wraps around, creating the mouth part. If you can really see it on there. And so you got this mouth right here. The whole head sort of wraps around. So it's like the barrel is almost coming out of its mouth. And then we get the handle, which is done really well. Like this thing has tons of detail in it. Looks really cool. And then you got the snake handle, which is another snake head. Lots of snakes. And I guess, I mean, you're a Cobra Commander, a lot of your stuff's going to be themed probably to the uh, organization that you control. And I think it looks great. It's a weird futuristic flintlock. We also get this giant, like, cavalry-style sword for Cobra Commander. And uh, I, I like this sword a lot. It looks pretty badass, but I really like the handle on it. Again, it's just a golden Cobra head. And it has tons of sculpted in detail, like the scales and everything. This stuff is painted and sculpted pretty clean. And that blade, like, that's an intimidating blade. Up close, Cobra Commander looks amazing. I love all the sculpted in detail. Got the texture throughout the belt. Got a gold Cobra logo. Sculpted in Cobra logo on his chest. The gold chain, the gold buttons. Uh, the helmet looks great. Mine's a little bit off from the line matching with the helmet. But that was a sacrifice I had to make because sometimes these little flaps are all like bent upward and stuff like that. So I'd rather have a little bit of a slightly off helmet than to worry about trying to heat up and fix those flaps. We do get the black on the helmet as well. So the design on this Cobra Commander is pretty awesome. The scales all over are done in this like glossy black, which looks awesome. Lots of gold. He's got this glossy cape that goes down, sculpted nicely, and it sort of it stays out of the way. It's there to give him that whole regal look, but it is out of the way. One thing that bugs me, and I know a lot of people pointed out, you got this silver line that's supposed to go straight up. It does not go straight up there, and I don't know why. But it looks, looks awesome. The gauntlets look fantastic. I love the fact that they're doing sculpted in Cobra logos instead of just doing paint or, you know, stickers or whatever. Looks great. Now, his hand that he comes equipped, he does have like a, you know, a, I guess, menacing hand or he's holding on to something hand. And then we get the trigger finger hand right here. So looking pretty good throughout. We do get this nice, again, scales throughout gold chain, scaled scabbard for his knife. The underneath of his cape looks pretty good. I don't know. What is this? It's missing paint. I don't know, there's little speckles on there, but it's red underneath, black on the outside. Got some red on the legs going straight down again, that scale texture. Not looking too bad. Same on both sides. And we get these crazy looking boots. And the boots are pretty awesome. 
So we'll focus there because they got all this sculpted in detail and it's like armored. It's like cavalry boots you'd see on like a knight a little bit. I like it. Let's go ahead and dive into some articulation. Cobra Commander's head can do a full 360. He can actually have it look down like so. Can look up. So pretty awesome articulation. It's on the disc hinge ball and the neck underneath moves a little bit as well. Arms can go up like so. It's not really preventing it on the other side because the cape shoulder pad thing shifts out of the way. He does have butterfly and the butterfly on him actually works pretty good. Um, what I found out, and this is only on this arm, when I go like this, like I can actually get his arm to pop out a little bit more. The butterfly joint pops a little bit, so I'm not going to overly do that. But it's still cool that you can actually get that butterfly to move as much like that. So uh, he does have bicep swivel. Looks a little bit weird when you do it because it does cause my biggest gripe is like bookshelfing is what I call that. When you get an actual like sharp edge. Because it's never a fun, fun thing when you do that. Uh, we get double jointed elbows. Wow, that just sort of spinned out of control. And with that cut there, it's just, again, it's just weird. So the double jointed elbows... It really makes his arm look like the way they cut it up makes his arms look really long. I don't know. It's just a sculpt, but like that's a pretty long arm, you know. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, you got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and then of course you got the hand bent. Then we get into his body. He can lean back this much, given a gut, but there he goes. He can lean back, and that gut ends up kicking out the back. So, not very nice looking when it comes to him bending at the ab, which is unfortunate. Um, underneath, let's see, he can rotate. Hang on. Looks like there might be a ball joint at his waist, so that's good. You can do the splits this far, thigh cuts. Besides this rubbery part, he can get a kick up pretty far. Not not too bad, if you ask me. He can do his double jointed knee. Oh, you can't see it because I moved it. I'm like, you double jointed knee, but that's how it bends. That's how it looks. It's all right. And he does have, oh, he has a boot cut right there. That boot cut is way, way up there. Look at that. It's right there. Ankle bend. And you know we get that generous privet, privet, pivot. This Cobra Commander's pretty awesome. Articulation mainly in the ab area and his arms could be a little bit better because it just his arms are very weird. Uh, maybe it's because of the gauntlets and stuff. They, they could have done some different things, but... The figure looks great, and I mean, he's you're not going to really have him in some like crazy ninja poses or anything like that. You're just basically going to have him commanding or being Cobra Commander. So I got him with a uh, ripped off face, pointing a finger, being like, you're going to be next if you don't follow my commands. And I, I've always been a fan of Cobra Commander, even when Serpentor came into the mix, like Serpentor looked cool. But to me, I felt Cobra Commander was way more badass. And uh, they definitely made him look badass as a figure. You can even get Cobra Commander in a very determined sort of like walk with his gun drawn. And the gun fits in its hand very nicely. Looks nice as well. It really fits the figure. And it's just something that I feel like he would just be stomping off really, really determined that he's going to shoot somebody. But, you know, in G.I. Joe realm, if you're watching the cartoon and stuff, they, they don't really hit anything with bullets unless it's a vehicle. That's what it sort of seems like, at least. But, uh, yeah, getting them in the pose, not too bad when you're dealing with those boots because it helps you swivel them. And, you know, he stays balanced pretty well. Just like all the other G.I. Joe figures, if you got some realistic 112th scale weaponry, it fits in their hands very well because he has a trigger finger. And that weird maniacal hand actually works as a good supporting hand for this assault rifle. But I mean, you can get them using realistic guns.
for anybody that's like, I can't have my Cobra Commander have this weird futuristic snake-like flintlock. It just, it just doesn't make sense. I, I can't have it. I gotta have real guns. Like, get over that. Like, if you're collecting, you probably have it. If you don't, then just deal with it. And, and if you and, and if you don't want to deal with it, go buy some weapon sets. You got Mezco sold a set. You got Action Force that has a bunch of pre-orders for a couple different weapon sets. So check those out. I mean, it's either you're going to like having this like cool sculpted futuristic weaponry because they're shooting lasers. They're shooting lasers, not real weapons, you know, or you're going to end up equipping them with some realistic guns that you might have laying around from other figures. Overall, Cobra Commander is a solid figure. It has some issues. It's not perfect, but sculpt work, paint work is phenomenal. And for the poses you're going to want to get your Cobra Commander in, he's going to be fine. He's going to be perfect for the poses that Cobra Commander should be in. He's not a ninja, so don't be trying to expect him to get him into some crazy snake eyes poses, okay? He doesn't do that. That's not how Cobra Commander functions. But... It is a solid Cobra Commander release, and it's fun that you can really bring over some realistic guns into the mix, and he looks good with them. You can even bring in the three and three-quarter versions of himself and have him on his shoulders. So right now, I got him with uh, Cobra Commander Jr. on his shoulders, and it's fun. I mean, these are your figures. They're toys. Mix them with other lines. Have fun with them. Take photos of them. Just really have a good time with them. That's what they're supposed to be doing for you. They're supposed to be bringing joy and, you know, getting entertainment out of it. But that sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, smash that subscribe button for me as it'll mean the world. And if you want to stay in the know with when I'm posting out videos, hit that silver bell notification. And make sure you guys show some love. Check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. This is where I'm getting my G.I. Joe Classified Series that aren't exclusive. Um, my Black Series figures and I'm even getting my Legends. So, I mean, definitely check them out and uh, see what he has up there and i want you guys to, and this is very very important i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day